of the Natural Resources Building and also our main building here at John Light Hall are going to be fantastic for our new folks coming here for fall quarter. He's speechless. And a few projects. This is going to be the first project him and his class is going to do. This is our front door, so we want to dress up the front door. change of the whole Hawking campus and uh, it's just the start of great things. Andy Freeman here from Hawking College in the Landscape Management Program. Over here I have Huntley Shaw, intern for Landscape Management, and to my left is Sarah Saunders, also an intern. And we just wanted to give you an up-to-date on our project here in front of Oakley and John Light Hall. As you can see here, we've got patio, and uh, what we just did here is we created sand over the top of it, and. Um, and then we tamped it with the, with a power tamper, pretty much ready to go, and it's set into place. There's a little bit of settlement that'll take place, but that's that's pretty normal. So we've got this upper tier completely done. All our cuts are done and everything. Our middle tier, which we still have a few more cuts to do. But if you can see across the board here, our lower tier is about halfway done. And we're really excited about this because, man, it's been what? We've been working on this a month. Forever. A month probably four or five days a week, and uh, through blood, sweat, and tears, we're almost there. Yeah. You remember when we were down here earlier, about a month ago, when we got it originally shot, and we were excavating down here? Well, now look at it. It's a paver patio and gathering area, and you can see their hard work over here laying these, this pattern of paver. So, after much excavation, after blood, sweat, and tears again, we're finally at this stage, which we're getting in the closing stage of getting this complete and uh, finished up. As you can see here, we've got this lower patio area just about being finished as we're closing out. We're going to come walk this way and look at what we've got going on. The most important part of doing patios is you got to make sure it's level prior to putting the papers down. Pavers go really, really fast. You can see we've laid so much field already. But the, the key is that we get our base correct, the correct elevation, and that's why we run our string lines, we run our line levels, and then also we run our sand. So we can get our setting bed to be a one inch, um, one inch depth as far as the sand's concerned, so it makes it a lot easier. But we do have to go through, as you can see here, to make it a little bit more level and, and so forth. But this is, the, this is probably one of the most tedious parts of actually doing a real nice square foot patio. Hey, you remember when we were here with Huntley before? We talked about a water feature on the hillside? Well, that's still our plans. But what we're planning on doing, rather than doing a, a two-tiered waterfall, I think we're gonna just do a one-tiered waterfall pondless water feature. And uh, it'll start right up here where the patio starts and it's going to work its way down with a series of falls and come down here and then into a basin where it'll recirculate. And so that's our next step after the pavers are complete and we're satisfied with this. We get our cuts in and stuff, then we switch gears and move right on up to here. So we're really looking forward to this. Again, on schedule, um, but uh, this is going to be a challenge once again because our only access area is right behind the camera and I'll show you that next. This is the, uh, the lower area, right next to the main entryway to John Light. This area is our last phase. After the water feature is complete, then we do this phase. And this phase is all the concrete's gonna come out, and then we're gonna lay pavers back in, in, in this place. We're, uh, we're getting this finished, get our cuts done, move on to the water feature, and then this will be our last phase. So again, on schedule.
Remember, we are on schedule. schedule.